For six hours, firefighters had to battle it all out to contain the spread. By the time the raging inferno was brought under control, 180 shops had been bent beyond recovery. The Ghana National Fire Service said an attack on its offices contributed to delays in attending to the situation. DO3 Simon Buedu is the Confanochi Fire Commander. The uh, attack was as a result of they believing that we delayed in getting to the scene. But we were able to apprehend some five of these attackers and they are currently at the police custody. We're going to pursue this to the latter. And the attack of firemen must stop. Leadership of the market condemned the attack. Na se ka ubi bi she na ban hu nipa atu nipa se emra medum jamawa ka bro ya bo omo ne ne The unfortunate incident has left victims traumatized with many thinking of how to return to business after losing almost everything. All have bent. If it were that some bent and some couldn't, that will, will get help from the others and then grand, be granting gradually, gradually, and then finally, finally, we will get some money to set up, set up the business again. But now all the grandmas have bent. So I, I don't even know. We are really, really frustrated. We don't know what to do. An observation by the firefighters pointed to the combustible items in some of the shops and unplanned nature of the bent area as the reason for the quick spread of the fire. Member of Parliament for Bantima, Francis Asensu Boache, advised traders to desist from illegal electricity connection after he was briefed about the preliminary cause of the incident. This illegal electricity connection which has proven to be one of the main reasons why we experience major fire events in this country must be stopped. Though an investigation to establish the exact cause of the fire is underway, some victims are pointing to an electrical fault. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Race Course, Kumasi.